Peace, peace, my peaceful people. What's good? It's your brother man say I knew. Coming to you from the cycle of Heru. We about to talk to God how we do. Yes indeed. Alright, so I think I got everything together here. Um Yeah, how y'all been doing? Hopefully y'all been doing y'all Heru meditations. You know what I'm saying? Getting that self mastery thing together, right? You know, being strong before it's necessary to be strong, right? Because that's how you got to do. All right, so uh, we're going to talk more about that later. Um, we got to do some readings, right? We got to have some conversations with the big one, too, right? So here we go. Um, let's see. So I got, uh, got the readings for the solstice that we did so that we can refer to them where need be right so far it's a good thing we write these things down so we can refer back to them that's why you're supposed to keep a notebook with your readings in it you know what i mean like we do all right so yeah i think we ain't gonna say too much we're just gonna get into this prayer Mr. Huti, Smok, Ruo, Seo, Keftaf, Kodapay Naba, or in Ice or Sabao, Herupu and her tent to Keftadun and Beje, Kodapay and say, How did Jadam de Jeditu? And it's around. I took Nate to enter Huti, Dwamadun de Te, Paya Banitu, a Banitu. And it's around ten, Anubu Spears, the Bagua, the Iching, Chien. Kun, Chen, Sun, Li, Ka, Tui, Ken, Dua, Dao. And it's locked. I'm going to go spirits of the tarot, of the major arcana, of the minor arcana, of the air, of the fire, of the earth, and of the water. Dua, and tear. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. We got up first for my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising folk. Thank you for complimenting my handwriting. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that was willful. <laughs> that was willful. Yeah, like, yeah. We had to reverse that. All right. Anyway. I ain't gonna get into my beautiful handwriting right now. All right, folks. So this is your reading for the cycle, right? What is Tehuti speaking to my Aquarius for this Heru cycle? My quote unquote February. It's a quote for me. My February Aquarius is. All right. Here we go. What does God have to tell us now? Heruka Huti Hetep. Heruka Huti Hetep. For the Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Okay, Heru. Oh man, you're messing up. I'm a little tired, y'all. Y'all can't see it in my eyes. I'm just a little bit tired because I'm off schedule. Um, yeah, and I need sleep. Alright, that's cool though, because we're going to do what we got to do here. Alright, Harukahuti Hatep. Alright, so let us go back to our reading for the year. Because, you know, we got insights to get from that, right? Ah, interesting. We got for the year. Alright, so for the yearly cycle, the yearly focus. The Aquarius is supposed to be at Oset Hetep. What is Oset Hetep? Oset is. Right, let me run it back. 34, the top line, right? 34, that top line going into the 14. Right at the top line of the 34, you got someone who is, you know, not being right. You got, you know, the devil. <laughs> <laughs> the top line man somebody is real devilish man they on their join
Let's see. Let's see how it comes out. Let's see. Alright. The ram butts against the hedge. Movement in any direction impossible. Recognizing and reestablishing the situation brings good fortune. People universally dislike anyone who is using excessive power, regardless of the level at which the person is operating. These persons have the propensity to use excessive power. The result is that no one wants to support them, cooperate with them, or to be or to come to their aid. Consequently, no matter what they try to do, they get nowhere. However, if they recognize this failing and reevaluate their situation, they have the potential to change and gradually attain good fortune. This can be you know, this can best be accomplished by their exercising calmness in their activities by being quiet by quietly improving their academic knowledge and through observations and analysis in their profession. All right. Or you know, this Haruka Huti stance that they're taking, they can correct through being or set which is yielding, which is humble, which is, you know, receptive. All right, all right, that's the year, okay? Now, fast forward to the now. And we get Haruka Huti Hatep, right? Y'all know the Maduna Terry, y'all know Haruka Huti is this fourth line, is this sixth line in 34 here, right? Haruka Huti is impetuous, it's rash, it's harsh, it's argumentative. Things like this here. Right? It's challenge, it's the fight tour. Okay? That's where we at with that. Let's go to the Ichi. Open stress. Close. Open stress, close. Close. Open, stress, close, close. Open, close, open, close, close. Right. Open, close, close. Open, close, close. Okay, we got the 57 into the 9. Seven into the nine. Haruka Huti Hatep. All right. So we're talking about. Okay. So far, it looks like Haruka Huti is on the case, right? Fifty-seven is when we go in, right? Okay, so 57th hexagram is the penetrating wind. This is about how we, uh, how, you know, the p penetration has to do with thoughts, how deep the thoughts go, right? How, you know, how we are influencing and being influenced via the route of the thoughts, right? Line one, advancing and retreating. The steadfastness of a warrior is advantageous. Line one is weak when it should be strong, hence the image of vacillation and indecisiveness. The advice here is to be like an ancient warrior, i.e. to have singleness of purpose coupled with persistency. Thus one eliminates doubt in one's mind and one's intentions become firm. This is excellent for the development of the will. Okay? All right, so this is don't vacillate, right? This is go in, right? You know, this is go, this is go, go in, right? But the opposite, well, this changes into the nine, right? The ninth hexagram, again, is uh, the gentle persuasion to uh, 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 affect someone, right? General, general penetration, right? General, gentle... Uh, Restraining. So this is talking to someone to bring them down off the cliff, right? Rather than you know, uh, you know, putting down the the big map for them to jump onto, right? It's like, yeah, calm down, chill out, chill out. Let's let's talk about this, right? Jump! Don't jump out the window. <laughs> don't jump out the window. 
Okay, a year with some advance and some regression. He may be assigned to two jobs at once. He will have some successes and some failures. He should try to pursue a firm goal. He will have some gains and some losses. Difficulties early in the year will be smoothed out later. All right, so, okay. So, ultimately, this is about, you know, don't vacillate. You know, go in, don't vacillate, right? You are working on something, something's happening, you know, that you're contemplating whether or not you should go forward. This is don't vacillate. D display singleness of purpose. Do not vacillate like the wind. Make your decision and then stick to it. Singleness of purpose. Okay, so this is be Haruka Huti, Hetep. Okay, so, you know. But, you know. Again, that is there's going to be a temperament or a temperance on that. This is going to be a balance by this nine, right? So again, this nine is like, you know, oh, okay, right, yeah, yeah. This is the nine is the answer. You will have a tendency to go in reckless, but you got to be nine. You have to put a restraining on that. You have to put a restraining on your tendency to go in as Haruka Huti, right? Because we said, right? For the cycle, I mean, for the year, your focus is all set, right? You got to look at everything through the context of the original major cycle focus reading, okay? And that's all set. The top line was what? Impetuousness. You know, somebody doing something, you know, uh, not, you know, not getting cooperation because they banging their, their you know, they're ramming their, 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 their rams and they're ramming their horns into the hedges and getting stuck, right? They're going this way, they're going that way, they're getting fights, they're getting problems. All set it out, right? Coming to this cycle, and it says that this will be a cycle where you have a tendency to do that. Gentle restraining, nine, right? The nine, right? You'll have a tendency to go here, 57, first line, right? You know, even though it says, you know, impetuous, you know, like don't vacillate and stuff like that, ultimately it's saying that, you know, you know, that you'll have a tendency to go this route. So don't go this route. That's what we're looking at. Don't go, you know, don't don't have, you know, it's like everything ain't got to be a fight. <laughs> you don't have to fight all the time. Calm down. You know what I'm saying? You know. How about, you know, before you order somebody into the dark corner, smile at them. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, don't be such a... Alright, let's go ahead with the tarot reading. get the five of pentacles in the reverse eight of cups and nothing's really peeking out so I'm going to take that eight of cups by itself <clears throat> five of pentacles in the reverse eight of cups okay so five of pentacles in reverse you know, you're coming out of a poverty situation. Perhaps you're in a situation where you are, you know, you don't, you're homeless, maybe. Maybe you're homeless or you're jobless, right? Something's happening where, you know, you're at a loss, right, with this Five of Pentacles. But it's in the reverse, so that's getting better. It's coming to a better place there. And perhaps, you know, that's through application of this Haruka Huti, right? You know? And so it's not saying don't be Haruka Huti. This is saying that, you know, Haruka Huti is necessary. This just just don't pardon me, don't let it mess up your overall focus, which is all set. So you have to do a restraining, but a gentle restraining. <laughs> you know? And you know, this could be perhaps with your own person you're res restraining gently. Right? Okay, so uh, and in the Eight of Cups, right? Five of, 
You know, you have to walk away from something. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. You have to walk away from something. You have to, you know, in order to uh, not, uh, 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 in order to come up out of the five in, of, of pentacles, in the, you know, in order to reverse that five of pentacles, you have to, to come away from something. Pardon me. You have to, um, you have to walk away from something. something. <clears throat> what is it that you have to walk away from in order to get your uh, five of pentacles reversed? Right? That's what you have to decide. You have to uh, answer that question. What is it you have to walk away from? Right? Right? So, but nevertheless, like, you know, uh, the correction on everything is this Haruka Huti headset, right? At the end of the day, you know, Haruka Huti takes the sword to his own neck, right? And, you know, because Haruka Huti deals with truth, you know, not lies. Like, Haruka Huti deals with the truth, you know, what is the real cause of the, the seed cause of the issue? Usually we look in the mirror with that one. Right, and that's what's coming there. This is a hexagram about this is a this is about putting it to your neck, right? And you know, you know, assessing your own um, uh, 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 faults and you know, you know, merits in a situation. You know, where is it that you, you know, are deficient or strong within a circumstance, right? What are you bringing to a circumstance that causes it to go whichever way? That's what Haruka Huti does. Haruka Huti gets in the mirror and deals with the truth, right? The truth of the whole situation, right? But that's the ritual, you know, is to, you know, decide, understand where you need to discipline yourself, right? But that is what's going to... And, you, and be a soldier about it, right? You have to soldier yourself, right? Because then you got to go into the nine, right? Now you now that you see where you're deficient or where you're not right, you have to apply a correction. And that's that nine, right? You have to gently restrain that back into place. Okay? Right? So you, you, you do what you got to do. You come up out of the five of pentacles. And you got to walk away from something. Perhaps this is walk away from a way of being that causes you to be at odds with people. You know, causes you to, you know, have a five of pentacles circumstance. Or whatever like that, right? So that's going to, you know, vary, you know what I mean? You know, take what resonates, leave the rest. All right? And for that, we say peace and love. We're going to see you uh, next cycle. Peace. Okay, and then there was...